These times are crazy, so we're practicing in a different way. Being in lockdown was kind of depressing to kind of hit golf ball indoors, but I tried to stay in the groove, but obviously not too much. So I've been doing more house stuff, to be honest. Odd jobs that I've been meaning to do over the last few weeks and months. For the last six, seven weeks, I haven't been on, on a proper golf course. Never really have that much time off. Been doing nothing for such a long time, so it's nice to get that feel of competition going again. It's now more than three months since tournament play proper was suspended on the European tour. But this week we're at the tour's headquarters, Wentworth, for the climax of our virtual series, allowing some of Europe's top pros to keep competing, but from the comfort of their own homes. Yes, welcome to the fifth and final BMW Indoor Invitational, powered by Trackman. Well, the competition is nice to have, uh, first of all, because we haven't we haven't been in competition mode for I would say almost two months now. So just having the trackman here um, playing against I don't know 25, 30 different guys that we usually see on tour every week um, that is for me the biggest benefit that we don't get out of out of shape in that sense um, mentally. You know, playing against each other um, really helps in that in that time that we are in right now. It's, uh, it's very beneficial for us. Oh my God, how good was that? It's incredible. I mean, it, it is, uh, distance-wise, it is very, very accurate. Uh, side spin uh, may be a little different. And then, of course, like judging bounces or, or even like the, the scenery of or like when you get into yourself into trouble uh, with the trees, you, you don't really know because you don't know, you, don't, you can't appreciate the gaps or, or the lie on the rough, but right. like, it's not the real thing, of course, and it will never be, but it was for sure as close as you can get indoors. The series began in early May, with Joost Lauten triumphing at the virtual home of golf. That felt good. Go on, big bounce. Connor Syme emerged victorious at Royal Port Rush, where his winning score of 64 remains the lowest in the competition to date. Yeah, chuffed the chuffed the win. Played solid. I think I was gonna be out in four under. Then I just went crazy for a few holes at nine through fourteen. I think I was uh, birdie, birdie, eagle, birdie, birdie in a row or something like that. So that was uh, that was a cool run to have. Um, but it's, it's it's weird because that being my first time on the simulator, I really had no idea what a good sport is. Having that opportunity to make a difference and what when what's all going on in the world is is obviously a great opportunity for us and probably something we wouldn't be able to do normally. Runner-up to Will Bessling in Munich a week later, the Scot returned to the winner's circle as part of a five-way tie last time out at Valderrama. After five weeks of intrigue and entertainment, we conclude the series at the European Tour's ancestral home and the historic West Course at Wentworth Club. I guess all of us, the professional, um, not only golfers but athletes, uh, are are dying to get a little bit competition going again, and uh, it's it's fun that we have managed to to set something up and also for a good cause. It's crazy what what, what technology has brought us to, and now we can play um, golf tournaments in in times like these, um, and you know interact with each other and, and still have a lot of fun even though we need to wait a couple more weeks uh, until we can we can go out with an actual score card. So the ideal start for Bernd Wiesberger, birdie at the first, courtesy of our auto putt system, where anything from eight feet and under is given as a one putt. Beyond that, the greater the distance, the greater the chance of a two or even three putt. Hope you've got it. If not, here's Alison Whitaker with more. Well, the program's designed to mimic the game, so you'll still get the highs, you'll still get the lows on the putting surface as we pick up the action with Raphael Jacqueline at the first. That is approach, smooth little six iron there from 168 metres. Really lovely one at that. Confirmation. 
Inside the gimme range. One from one. Will Bessling, who's as sharp as any throughout this BMW Indoor Invitational Series. Three podium finishes in four attempts for the Dutchman. This on the par four third hole. Level par to here. Little stock pitching wedge. Loving his tempo at the moment. Generous little one part concession there from above the hole. It's going to be some serious scoring today with the pin difficulty set to easy for the first time in this virtual season. Up ahead now to Perrier, the dog leg left, fourth hole. Over the hill with his drive at the par five. Second shot to there. Beautifully done from 220 metres out. Ooh, <laughs> he loves it. Eagle putt up over the tier. He's in red figures now. Beesberger, also at four. Graphic tells the story. Already two birdies through three today. Off to a hot start. And this hole too playing well under its average. Just takes the slope a little. Five point six meters, two parts for the Austrian. So a third birdie in four holes moves the Austrian to the top of the leaderboard at this early stage. Behind him, a five-way tie for second spot that includes golfers from France, Belgium, Norway and the Netherlands. And that leaderboard reflects the multinational nature of the European Tour, a theme very much in evidence in this simulated series. Almost 60 players have teed it up over the past five weeks, coming from all corners of the globe. Yes. We've seen a wide variety of setups too, from the high-end and clinical to the slightly more rough and ready. Pro shops, garages, gardens, and in some cases, like Nino Batasio this week, even the local driving range. <laughs> it's the beautiful thing about having a virtual ball flight this series. It certainly makes the cleanup easier later on. Genius little setup here for Batasio. This at five, there are two par threes in the first five holes at Wentworth West. Three iron in hand. Beautiful shot as well towards that back right pin position. Looks good to me. Looks good to Nino. Joachim B. Hansen playing out of paradise today. Take a look at that. A little bit of a contrast there. The palms with the pine trees of Surrey, just southwest of London. Level par today for the Dane. Had his best year out on tour ever. Last season, sneaking inside the top 50 on the race to Dubai. 4.4 metres equals birdie. Little flip wedge there. Nicely done. And a new face this week, Nikolai von Dellenhausen. Based in Dusseldorf really? in Germany. He spent a lot of time during the current suspension working Jeez. on his launch oh. angles on Trackman. Using the slope wedges. Here. Listen to that. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> You know what I should do? I should never play these courses before. <laughs> An interesting strategy. So let's jump over to the eighth with Christopher Wrighton. Just 22 years of age and pretty new to the pro scene. One full season in. Lovely languid tempo there from 109 metres out. Fist pump to match. Hasn't played this course on the European tour physically, virtually. Now he's checked the box. Bessling has taken a more aggressive approach off the tee, launching it down past the little bottleneck at eight, then up over the water with the second. Just a hair over 70 metres left. Wants it to settle down, it's below the hole. Oh, he's called it early. But pretty safe to say inside the 2.5 metre range. Jacqueline also Playing some nice golf around a course he's been visiting since 1998, the year that Christopher Reitam was born. Minus three. Through to here, though, and the course knowledge could pay off at the eighth, come down the slope. Beautifully done, 111 metres to one metre. With a par at the next and the field through eight holes now, it's Jacqueline who leads from Wiesberger, Reitan and Besseling. 
Hot on their heels are Batasio, Hansen, Johnston, Peters, von Dellinghausen, and this man, Jordan Smith. Easily one of my favourite swings on tour. Smith at the ninth. 180 yards to the pin. Gosh, he was robbed oh. last week on the home stretch at Valderrama with a few auto three parts to close. But that's inside the gimme range. No doubt there. Three birdies in the last four for the Englishman. What'd you hit there? Seven? Uh, eight. Eight from one to yeah. Normal. Obvious. Also at nine is Hanson. Another birdie to his name since we saw him last at the sixth. This pin's slightly less visible from the right side of the fairway. 136 metres. Little downhill putt to come. He's travelling nicely, as is the Frenchman on 10. What a great par three this is. 170 yards to date. Remember that some players use yards, others in metres. It's as simple as just the touch of a button on Trackman. T nestle back into the trees. That just past the pin. Oh, very nice. Excellent. He's a happy man again. We saw a lot of players get into trouble left on this whole last September. But conditions, albeit virtual conditions, pretty perfect out there right now. Bessling's cruising at three under par. And a very good chance of birdie from below the hole there at 10. Confirmation. Now at the dog leg left, 11th, Jordan Smith. Down the fairway with the drive. Pins almost right in the centre of the green today. And that's not going to be an entirely straightforward putt from up there. 26 feet. What? So he's just... So he's just been the 12-footer for par and 26-footer diamond silver birdie. Smith and Besseling, both boasting four birdies and no bogeys, have climbed alongside Chacolin at the top of the leaderboard. The Frenchman's card has been a little more colourful, and he'll no doubt look to address that when we come back. The BMW Indoor Invitational, powered by Trackman, sees some of the European Tour's finest take on each other in virtual competition. This week, 34 golfers from 15 different nations. And with the added twist that they're each competing from their own homes. Yes! Well, this week's venue needs little introduction. The West Course at Wentworth, one of the finest and most revered tracks on the European Tour circuit and it's already served up its fair share of excitement. We're back in paradise with Joachim B. Hansen at the 13th. Pulled his drive just slightly left off the tee, now needs a draw with his second from 161 metres out. It will release once it hits the surface. How good is that? From the rough, he, he wants to leave the putter in the bag. And he can. Into the just short of the mark. Smith greenside in That's two. Uh, the par five strategy confirmed. Oh, Our first one. Our first one was so short. <laughs> An easy tap in. You'd have to think to continue his good play. What's for third? Bessling bogey free to here, putting on a virtual masterclass. The last month, really, could be said, in a perfect spot to attack again at 13, right on 150 metres out. Oh. Up above the hole. How did that land so softly? He did that. He did that. Once again, the Dutchman dialed in. No surprise to our regular viewers. Bessling has two podium places and a victory in four starts already, amassing quite the highlights reel in the process. Not least this, his recovery shot at the 16th at Royal Port Rush, voted third in our shots of the series. Yeah. 
In second place, we have this beauty from Laurie Cantor, the Englishman second to the par four sixth on the old course at St Andrews. And the virtual crowd goes wild. Unfortunately for Cantor, though, that wasn't even the best shot of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dean Burmester, the South African making the old course look easy. Oh, get in. Get in. Hold on. Lean. Let go in. Hold on, baby. Woo! Well, not quite so good this week for Burmester as he laboured to a four over past 76 at Wentworth. Plenty of others, though, are making good progress in the sunshine on the West Course as we go back to Alison for more. To one of the most iconic holes at Wentworth. And the man in form, Bessling, at 14, 163 yards, big elevation change uphill. Pins on the front tier today. And that is going to be treacherous for a two. Oh, <laughs> and a stroke of luck there. Yeah. He knows he's gotten away Good with one. one. Take it and run. Smith, right there with Bessling, it should be said. Five birdies, no bogeys today to 16. 134 yards out, just a little off a gap wedge here. Oh. Up, oh, <laughs> nearly in, he knows it. That's shot of the day for him by far. Yet another birdie for Smith, now six under through 16 holes, and he's taken the outright lead, one ahead of Besseling and Hansen, as we rejoin those three players at the par five 17th. It's an extreme dogleg left for 17th. Smith on the fairway, he'll have a slightly hanging lie from there. 275 yards out, it should kick right. And kicks straight. Long left for Smith. Not the worst place to be, but a little unlucky. <laughs> Pressing the galleries. Bessling trailing by one with just two holes left to play, both of which are par fives. It's about 25 paces closer than Smith, but this is hanging out to the right. And perhaps lucky not to get one of the deadly bounces we've seen over the years right of 17 green. Still a tough third to navigate. And it's a three shot hole for the Dane. Hanson's wedges have been good today. This from 78 metres from the rough and that's not his finest, not when he needed it most. Oh, we've seen in the past few weeks that the pressure can mount even in virtual golf. So over to Smith from past the pin. And a release forward oh. and left, needs to settle. Oh, played that well as well. Oh, very good. Oh, Bags another birdie, looking very strong today. Now the next for Bessling is absolutely critical. This green head high, even for a guy that's 190 centimetres tall, needs to float it and spin it. That's an unbelievable golf shot from down there. And that's gonna keep him right in the thick of things through 17. He knows it. So with the others starting to stretch ahead, Hansen needs to get this up and down quickly. And whilst he looks like he's done it, can't help feeling as though that may be his opportunity lost this week. Well, disappointment for the Dane and his par means the title now looks like a two horse race between Jordan Smith and Will Besseling. The title will be decided on the closing par five over the West Course, who will hold their nerve. Ask anyone in European golf and they'll tell you the 18th at Wentworth is one of the most polarizing finishing holes on the roster. A sharp dogleg right par five with plenty of danger flanking its edges the whole way down. Smith. Just the fairway medal for position. But you can see he's watching because you can get blocked out down that right hand side. We'll have to wait and see. Bessling, he too, with the fairway wood. Taking on the corner. This is a, a very bold line, and that is a brilliant result. That's as good as it gets with that club off the tee. 
staying hot on the heels of Smith. A one shot lead, but it's a 30 yard disadvantage for Smith with his second at the last. Not to mention the tougher angle. You can see he had to take it up over the trees. This has started left. It's staying left from 2.48 and it's found the water. He's played flawless golf to here and then that. Is that going to cost him the title? Well, it all rides on this response from Bessling. 201 metres left. And he is cutting this fine. There's a tree that guards the front right section of this green. Oh, what a shot. It clings to the back edge. Oh, he's under the pump and he's delivering. He's begging for a one part. For the eagle, gets two. Oh, wow. So now the equation's pretty simple for uh, Jordan Smith. How quickly the tides can turn around this golf course. Smith needs an up and down to share the title with Best Link. Fly the water, it'll drift left. The final verdict from Autopart is going to decide our champion. And from 15 feet, it's a bogey for Smith at the last, which means it's Best Links to take today. So he's done it again. A victory in the fifth and final BMW Indoor Invitational, powered by Trackman, goes to Will Besseling. A two-shot swing at the last leaves Smith second on minus six, ahead of a four-way tie for third. But top billing, with a second virtual win of the series, goes to the Dutchman. I've never played Wentworth before, so to start with, I needed to see the course before I actually I uh, was going to play it officially um, and that went really well. I shot 12 under in the practice round and then I had lunch. So I went back home for an hour or half an hour, went back to the studio and I shot seven under. So I thought, okay, it's still a good score, um, but not knowing what the other guys was gonna, were going to shoot. So uh, happy to get the, the phone call today that uh, it was good enough to win and uh, a second uh, second win in, in five weeks' time. I mean, um, great record, I guess. One to one. Yeah. Come on. Well done to Will, and reaping the benefits of his good play are two very worthy causes, as the total raised across the series reaches $50,000, all benefiting communities affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, that's it from the BMW Indoor Invitational powered by Trackman. It's been a lot of fun and we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have and as much as the players from the European Tour. It's time to drink. <laughs> to watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.